Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast. Today is Saturday, July 28, 2018. Today I'm going to recap last night's baseball games, look ahead to today's games, go over three trades that happened in baseball, and a corresponding move that one of the teams that sold off a piece made, and do my redraft from baseball in 2009. All right, here we go. The Indians fade the Tigers 8-3 to as they improve to... 56 and 46. Detroit drops to 44 and 61. Cody Allen proves to 3 and 4. Joe Jimenez drops to 4 and 2. Not going over scoring summary today because I'm short on time. The Orioles feed the race 15 to 5 as they improve to 30 and 74. Tampa Bay drops to 53 and 51. Andrew Castro proves to 3 and 9. Chris Archer drops to 3 and 5. The Pirates feed the Mets 5 to 4 as they improve to 54 and 51. The Mets drop to 43 and 58. Felipe Vasquez improves to 4 and 2. Tim Peterson drops to 2 and 2. This game ended on a walk-off single by David Fries. The Red Sox defeat the Twins 4 to 3 in 10 innings, courtesy of a walk-off home run by Mookie Betts. As the Red Sox improve to 72 and 33, Minnesota drops to 48 and 54. Tyler Thornburg improves to 1 0. His first win is a Red Sox and Matt. Bella Seal drops to one and one. The Reds defeat the Phillies six to four as they improve to forty six and fifty eight. The Phillies drop to fifty eight and forty five. David Hernandez improves to four and zero. Oh. Nick Pavetta drops to six and nine. Rossi Iglesias gets his twentieth save of the season, perhaps his last save as a member of the Cincinnati Reds. The Nationals defeat the Marlins nine to one as they improve to fifty two and fifty one. The Marlins drop to forty four and sixty one. Max Scherzer improves to 14 and 5. Pablo Lopez drops to 4 and 2. The Dodgers defeat the Braves 4 to 1 as they improve to 58 and 46. Atlanta drops to 54 and 46. Clayton Kershaw improves to 4 and 5. Mike Falta units drops to 7 and 7. Kenley Jansen gets his 30th save of the season. The Blue Jays defeat the White Sox 10 to 5 as they improve to 47 and 55. Chicago drops to 36 and 67. Marcus Stroman improves to 4 and 7. Reynaldo Lopez drops to 4 and 9. The Rangers destroy the Astros 11 to 2 as they improve to 43 and 62. Houston drops to 67 and 38. Giovanni Gallardo improves to 5 and 1. Dallas Keuchel drops to 8 and 9. The Cardinals defeat the Cubs 5 to 2 as they improve to 52 and 51. The Cubs drop to 60 and 43. Luke Weaver improves to 6 and 9. Mike Montgomery drops to 3 and 4. Bud Norris gets his 20th save of the season. The Rockies defeat the Athletics 3 to 1 as they improve to 55 and 47. Oakland drops to 61 and 44. Kyle Freeland improves to 9 and 6. Sean Benaya drops to 9 and 7. Adam Ottavino gets his fourth save of the year. The Angels defeat the Mariners 4 to 3 in 10 innings, courtesy of a walk-off home run by Cole Calhoun. The Angels improve to 53 and 52. Seattle drops to 61 and 42. Jim Johnson improves to 3 and 2. Juan Lacazio drops to 1 and 5. The Diamondbacks defeat the Padres 6 to 2 as they improve to 50. 57 and 48. The Padres drop to 42 and 64. Zach Ranky improves to 12 and 5. Louis Perdomo drops to 1 and 6. The Brewers defeat the Giants 3 to 1 as they improve to 16 and 46. San Francisco drops to 52 and 53. Chase Anderson improves to 7 and 7. Madison Bumgarner drops to 3 and 4. Corey Neville gets his 14th save of the season. Royals Yankees was postponed. Make update is today as a part of a two game doubleheader. Game one of their doubleheaders, the 1 o'clock matinee, Brad Keller and Luis Severino. 4 o'clock FS1, Cubs Cardinals, Jose Quintana and Miles Mikolas. Give me the Cubs on the road. 6 o'clock Indians, Tigers, Mike Clevenger and Blaine Hardy. 7 o'clock game two of the doubleheader between the Royals and the Yankees. Heath Fillmeyer and CC Sabathia. Rays Orioles, Ryan Stanek is your opener today against Kevin Gossman. Maybe it's Gossman's last game as an Oriole, and who knows, could very well be Stanek's last game as a Ray, considering all the somewhat surprising trades they made of some of their uh, swing guys. Mets Pirates, Jacob DeGrom and Trevor Williams. I doubt this is DeGrom's final game as a Met. Twins, Red Sox. Jake Odorizzi and Rick Porcello. 
Blue Jays, White Sox, John Axford. That's weird. I guess he's their opener today against Lucas Giolito. Dodgers, Braves, Alex Wood and Max Fried. Rangers, Astros, Ariel Gerardo against Justin Verlander. Nationals, Marlins, Gio Gonzalez and Trevor Richards. 8 o'clock Athletics Rockies, Brett Anderson against Antonio Sensatella. 840 Dimax Padres, Patrick Corbin and Tyson Ross. 9 o'clock Brewers Giants, Julius Chassin and Johnny Cueto. And Mariners Angels, Felix Hernandez and Jaime Berea. couple trades yesterday. The Diamondbacks acquire Eduardo Escobar from the Minnesota Twins for outfielder prospect Gabriel Merciel, pitching prospect Johan Duran, righty, and another outfield prospect Ernie De La Trinidad. I think the Diamondbacks overpaid a little bit. They have a weak farm system, but they had a need at shortstop. So they get Escobar. They move Cattell Marte to second base. Jake Lamps had a bad year at third base, so Escobar could play both positions. So solid deal for Arizona. The Phillies acquired as Drupal Cabrera from the New York Mets for righty Franklin Colome. Nice deal for both ends. I think Philly will get the better end of the deal because Cabrera is very versatile. He can play third. He can play second. He can play short. He can even play a little bit of first. And Colome's was the 10th-ranked prospect in the Philly system. And the last trade that was made yesterday was that the Milwaukee Brewers acquired Mike Moustakis from the Kansas City Royals for outfielder Brett Phillips and right-handed pitching prospect Jorge Lopez. Nice package that Casey got for Moustakis. Phillips was being blocked by all the other talented outfielders in Milwaukee, so he, he gets an opportunity to play in Kansas City. Mike Moustakis will play third base for the Royals. Travis Shaw moved to second. So that makes their lineup deeper. Miguel Sano is recalled by the Minnesota Twins yesterday in wake of them trading Eduardo Escobar. I think Sano will come up and look like a different player and an improved player. I think the call down to the minors was a wake-up call. We'll see how he does. This is pretty much a make-or-break time for Sano. 2009 MLB redraft. This was a very fascinating one. There's so many great players in this draft. Let's just get right to it. One, Nationals, Mike Trout. Could you imagine Mike Trout and Bryce Harper in the same outfield? Two, Mariners, Paul Goldschmidt. Hmm. That would have been an interesting fit. Three, Padres, Nolan Arenado. Hmm. Four, Pirates, J.D. Martinez. He would have been their right fielder right now, or maybe he would have been trade bait. Five, Orioles, A.J. Pollock. Six, Giants, Steven Strasburg. Seven, Braves, Dallas Keuchel. Eight, Reds, Kyle Seeger. Seeger and Votto in the same infield. Nine, Tigers, Patrick Corbin. Who knows if he'd still be there or he would have been traded. Ten, Nationals, Matt Carpenter. Eleven, Rockies, Chris Davis with the K. 12, Kansas City Royals, Brian Dozier. Dozier would have been an interesting fit with Eric Hosmer and Mike Moustakis in that infield on those title teams. 13, Athletics, Brandon Belt. 14, Texas Rangers, Scooter Jeanette. He would have been on some of those AL winning teams, perhaps. Maybe he would be on the Rangers right now. 15, Indians, Will Myers. 16 and 17 were both the Diamondbacks. DJ LeMayu and Jason Kipnis. Two second basemen. One of them perhaps they would use as trade bait. 18 Marlins. Garrett Richards. Probably would have been traded already. 19 Cardinals. Justin Bohr would have been their first baseman. 20 Blue Jays. Matt Davidson. 21 Astros. Steven Matz. 22 Twins. Tyler Skaggs. 23, White Sox, Zach Wheeler. 24, Angels, Enrique Hernandez. 25, Angels, Corey Dickerson. So a center fielder and a left fielder. 26, Brewers, Matt Adams. Would have been their first baseman, perhaps. 
27 Mariners, Miles Mikolas. 28 Red Sox, Mike Leak. He part of their rotation, perhaps. 29 Yankees, Kyle Gibson. Maybe he would have been trade bait for them at the time. 30 Rays, Jan Gomes. So he would have fit in as their catcher. 31 Cubs, Mike Fires. Would have been a nice back in the rotation piece. 32 Rockies, Randall Gritchick. So much talent. And every single one of these guys are still in the majors today. That's it for the redraft, and that's it for today's podcast. I'll be back tomorrow recapping today's baseball games, looking ahead to tomorrow's games, going over any other trades that happen within the next 24 hours, and any other news that happens in the world of sports. And I'll also be doing my 2009 NHL redraft. I hope you guys have a great day, everybody.